Hello and welcome to this coexistence video. My name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to take you through what coexistence is and why it's important in today's IT landscape for Office 365 tenants. A big challenge when migrating Office 365 tenants is to make sure users in both domains can still communicate and collaborate. Mergers and acquisitions continue to grow with a large number of companies either adopting or already on Office 365. When new companies are acquired, they need to quickly merge environments so the organization can communicate and collaborate without issue. Platform changes and merger and acquisition or M&A activity are occurring more frequently than ever before. According to Deloitte in a 2018 review, Corporations and private equity firms foresee an acceleration of merger and acquisition activity in 2018, both in the number of deals and size of those transactions. Many of these companies are also consolidating staff at the same time. This creates a gap and the risks and costs are high. For some organizations, this poses additional problems because they may still be getting to grips with how to manage either a complete or partial Office 365 environment. It's very different from typical on-premises exchange administration. Most organizations we come across will not only be running Office 365 and cloud services using Azure AD, but will also have an on-premises environment that is still managed using Active Directory. The first thing they may consider is replicating their accounts from their on-prem AD from the source domain to the target domain. They will then sync their target on-prem AD to Azure, and that leaves them with Azure AD accounts and mailboxes in both the source and target. Then they'll need to match these accounts before migration and ensure that there are not duplicates. Then there are other pre-migration assessment activities that need to be done to avoid potential problems. Once the planning and assessment is done, they'll be able to start moving accounts, mailboxes, and data. While the migration is happening, they need to be sure that their users will not be impacted and can still communicate and collaborate whether they're still in the source domain, are in the process of moving, or are already moved. There are a lot of moving parts. So the more automated the approach is, the easier it will be and the least stressful and risky for everyone concerned, especially the users. So here's what you need to consider with Office 365 tenant-to-tenant -tenant migrations. You need to move accounts, email, and data from the source to the target tenant. Pre-migration planning is essential to avoid unnecessary disruption. If you have an on-prem AD and Azure AD, you need hybrid support. Coexistence is critical from the start of the migration till the end, and post-migration profile updates need to be seamless. Some of your users will be in many different states. Some will be migrated already, some will be in the middle of being migrated, and some will still be in the source domain. All of your users will be sending emails, sharing data, and generally just try to get work done. Users may not have access to on-premise resources, so downtime means tools are also down. And if you're consolidating multiple domains, the complexity of managing all of this gets even more complex. So, in comes coexistence. Calendar and resource sharing is possible, including calendar sharing, automated forwarding, a unified directory or GAL, SharePoint permissions, access to source shares, and access to necessary applications for your users, no matter what state they are in. So, email domain coexistence. What is it exactly? Well, to maintain branding, most organizations going through a merger or acquisition want to have their users representing the target domain, and they can't afford to have any emails lost. All users, and even those still in the source domain, should be able to send and receive all emails using their new domain email account, and they should be able to do this at any point during the migration. So with email domain coexistence, you can maintain corporate branding, maintain email performance and reliability, you won't lose any email, and the domains are selectable. You can choose which users can use their target email and when, and then forget it. You can achieve this with on-demand migration. Here's what it offers. Migration discovery allows you to discover the objects that need to be migrated in your source environment 
and automatically identify any issues that might occur and resolve them before the migration even begins. It allows true project management. You can plan, stage, and schedule your migration to automate manual tasks and save you cost. You can troubleshoot and solve issues as they occur to keep moving forward. And you can monitor the progress of the migration in real time. And of course, there's easy coexistence. You can easily share calendar and free busy information between your source and target environments. You can copy directory objects and automatically set forwarding addresses to ensure continued communication. You can have account, email, and OneDrive migration. You can migrate Azure AD accounts and groups, exchange online mailboxes, OneDrive data, etc to target Office 365 tenants and set Office 365 licenses for those migrated users. So what about accessing resources? Of course, there's resource processing. You can update the permissions in SharePoint Online to ensure that users migrated to the target tenant can still access valuable data, eliminating downtime. And you can maintain access to important Azure applications during the migration. Then there's profile processing. You can easily deploy a very lightweight and secure agent to process profiles at the client to avoid help desk calls and visiting individual workstations. There are multiple ways to do this, and sometimes the end user doesn't even know they've been moved. That sounds like a pretty good situation to be in. To learn more about Quest On Demand or to access a free trial, please visit us online.